Want to come on in. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Marie Delaney. And of course, it's been the first time in a long time since we have done the studio B-Cast. And of course, my throat is doing much better and it's still got some scar tissue on it. So bear with me, okay? As we cough our way, well, hopefully not, but you never know, um, towards the um, end of the show. We'll see how long we can tolerate going uh, before uh, I have to pack it in. Well, first I want to explain that my doctor put me in on, the, on an antibiotic. Um, and with this script, I was able to get the Tussin Type D. I'm with the uh, decongestant and expectorant. And uh, that made a major difference. Um, and uh, the ability to get the, the phlegm up, which really wasn't much, but was just... Uh, a, a little bit. The most biggest problem was coughing itself, which was a dry cough. It was a miserable cough. It was a. Uh, it just made me feel terrible. Um, I can tell you right now that the mixture you hear it sounds very good, and uh, that's the one that we recapped. Um, <clears throat> didn't do much else with it. And then we recapped it, fixed what was broken, and. Got it back on the line. So, same thing with the other mixer. We just didn't figure out where the point, or sorry, the 4.7 microfarad cap went in it yet. But once we find where that goes, we will replace the offender and put the new one in. Right now, it's working fine for the application that we're using it for. So, I guess that's good enough. We found out that the um, system also damaged the MP3 playing. Um, sound card on the web server um so whatever the problem was it was pretty big now both the web server all the all the tape drop i mean all of the stuff was earthed so it means it's somewhere there was a bad earth connection or something um so it appears because the other mixer, I mean, the yeah. MP3 playing function was actually going through to the um, SSM-1250. It was not going through the M68. So why would the M68 potentially have damaged the sound card? It's probably very simple. It didn't. Um, but something else between the sound card... Uh, interaction with everything else cause damage. So we won't be able to hear MP3s, but of course we can't play records because we got a record player hooked up, so we can do that. Um, <clears throat> huh. Now, as you can hear, normally when I get a call like this, what happens is the next thing I do is once I am... Um, over the DC spells, which I have been out for a couple days, is I begin the process of start slowly warming up my pipes to help to um, get my throat back into tune. And I didn't do that this year, and so because of that reason, um, my throat is still sounds like a musical instrument that is really, really needing a good proper tuning um and so that's what i'm gonna need to do is get some thing together where i can start tuning my strings by either using the fine tuners on my throat or um worse turning the tuning pegs in my neck of my throat and then unfortunately we've been on snap a snap snap a vocal cord in the process of doing that especially the high ones um, but the point is, is that I'm going to be trying to, um, get more things back in order and get things done. And that's what I'm going to do. So, um, now, um, today we're going to talk briefly about, um, 
why it is so frustrating uh, when you have a cold or whatever I re whatever it is I had besides acute sinusitis, which I had. It's one of the symptoms. It is when you have no family and you have no f um, money for medical care, um, it gets really difficult to get the care you need. It turns out, for example, that my AARP preferred RX insurance plan due to a clinical error, not just I mean, but hundreds if not thousands of people, um, they're putting us in the wrong insurance brackets. And they um, were charging me much higher premiums I mean, co pays than they should have been. That's because the company that does the insurance is not just dealing with one company, but rather is a group of companies they work with. So somebody at the office of the payment processor made a mistake. Finally, somebody saw what the problem was and was able to meet humiliated which is great because that's exactly what I need them to do because $28 for a oh I'm sorry $48 for 30 day supply of Dyson was nuts when I'm supposed to only play about six bucks tops <coughs> for the same size um you know, it's pretty high, and um, apparently that has happened to a lot of people. So does that mean that the processor is going to start giving people credit towards the next prescriptions, or what? I don't know, but you know what? I'll tell you something. I really think that it's getting to be ridiculous. These insurance processors can do that accidentally, make it a, a mis a coding error, that can cause so much emotional anguish for the uh, members of the, the community. And I don't understand why the number of appeals processes for the claimants is so limited. Uh, I mean, gladly, I, I mean, this is what I mentioned family. If I had family, okay, I could have gotten on the phone with the insurance company and said, hey, look, my daughter is not in any condition to talk to you guys on the phone today. Could you please just work with us and tell us exactly what's going on? Or tell us what it is, how much she's got to pay, and then we'll have someone go down and pick up her prescriptions and pay for them. <laughs> well... <clears throat> that was kind of, that would have been really helpful, I must add. That would definitely have been very helpful um, to have that privilege of somebody saying, is, is, you know, that's not fair to do that to people. But, you know, businesses like insurance companies have a lot of departments and how one department can make a mistake like that that can affect everything is not surprising. me. Hundreds, if not thousands, of claims come in every day. They have to process them um, in a timely fashion. And uh, I gotta tell you, that's irritating. Now, by the way, you said I said my husband's health overall. Well, my health overall is pretty good. I explained to Dr. Lemme Bio that after I got his my blood my uh, cholesterol report back, I said, he said, there you go. You just confirmed it from actual statistics. This sinvastatin did crap nothing. All it did is cost me another four dollars. For a bottle of pills, that's all it did. It did nothing. Not a zip. Not a single thing. 
And um, that's that's pretty sad, you know. That uh, he said to me is, well, I th he says if the is not supposed to help reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. I said no, it does not reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. In fact, it increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease. But we're spending all this money on these pills and they're not doing anything. It just proves my point that it's not worth the economics, okay? I'm not getting anything out of this, okay? If I was gaining something out of this, I would have said fine. If I saw the point of my cholesterol go up by about 1%, I would have said fine. I did not see it go up even 0%. It was this actually went up more after it got off the crap than it was before when I was on it. Actually, it really didn't go up at all. Because it was so subtle increase it didn't make comparison worthwhile. So why do these companies keep saying to everybody, Pop more pills. It's okay. We'll make more. Yeah, but if it's not doing me any good, then what's the point? Okay, it makes no sense. I can do better using that four dollars I spent on simvastatin buying another one of these. No, oh, I didn't take my test in the damn time. Anyway, the point is, all right. In this here, was. Five dollars and seventy cents. Now, you think I'm happy to know <laughs> that all of these systems that have been created are solving a problem. That never existed. It doesn't exist. It never did exist. Until mankind made the problem to exist. Look, our ancestors, um, prior to, say, I don't know, modern medicine goes back a long way. Let's just say about uh, 1860. Did not have insurance for doctors like this. You got sick, you went to his office, or if you couldn't get in his office, if he did house calls, he'd come out to see you, right? He would check your pulse and your heart and ask you what was wrong, and based on your symptoms, would give you a treatment, which, depending on the treatment, so it's pretty simple. Maybe a couple tablets. Uh, maybe some advice to what you should be drinking and eating. Sounds easy enough, right? But then, somehow, in the industry, the, somebody, somebody came out with a concept with insurance. Now, there we go. All oh, into this business of co-pays, deductibles, and God knows what else. And all of a sudden, the doctors start going crazy. They're like, oh, I can get more money if I start prescribing these. That's the nice in that way. I can buy the same stuff over the counter. Um, I mean, not quite as many caplets. We're about $15. That was enough to co pay. was going to really charge me $48. <laughs> For non participating pharmacy, that was a dead giveaway. Because he is part of my participating pharmacy. Or pharmacist. Okay, so still, they were trying to tell me non participating pharmacy, you gotta pay 48 bucks 
And I said, they're going to charge me $138 for a 90-day supply of nice. I said, you got to be out of your fucking tree. I'm not paying 138 bucks for this. I can get the same OTC one for about 25 bucks at worst. And still have money to pay for everything else I use, such as the the Kellis, the uh, vitamin D3, the uh, calcium, the iron supplement. That's ridiculous. I'm not paying that. And it is ridiculous. So, after the insurance company realized they made a mistake, my price was readjusted to this. I only had to pay like six bucks for the 90 day supply, which was much more closer to where it should be. I'm trying to say is, if something in this world isn't right. And a lot of people would have just cracked open the walls and throw it 138 bucks and they would probably growled a lot, complain a lot, but otherwise just not blink their eye. Hell, if you guys want to throw around 138 dollars for prescription, that's fine, but it's not me. <coughs> you want to keep paying for prescription that does no good for you at all, that's fine. Except for the fact that we know it else is going to run away your brain and increase your risk of Alzheimer's disease. If that's your wish to be another Terry Shivo, fine. But that's not me. When I die, I want to go, I want to die with a full head of brain. Understandable. Understandable indeed. What well, is that? Yep. This has been the first time in almost, oh my God. I know we sound terrible, but this is the first time in over a week that we've done a video in here that's been a little more than just a short, brief video. Yeah. You know, my throat is still very tight. Oh, I know. I can hear that. Your, your throat sounds like it definitely needs more moisture. I also got a lot of scar tissue in it, too. I know. Yeah, that's going to take a while to cure. Uh, i got a lot of scabs in your throat, I think. Well, I was coughing. But Michelle will heal. She always does. Is she going to sound better? I don't know. I don't know either. All right, so for now, I want to hear what you think about that. About insurance and, and doctors and things like that and how you feel. In some cases, that somebody's trying to milk you and make money out of you. And again, I'm going to try to get some more videos in with Dory tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, Dory's going to be here. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow, my throat will be better some more. And... Uh, I was going to be bad enough that we're going to be about two weeks behind my Welcome to My World episode. Now we get some taping done tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll have to try some taping in tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen, I'm going to let you go. I want you to stay warm in these next two days because it's going to be colder than normal. Uh, it will warm back up again for New England. Don't panic. It's only temporary. For now. For now. And, um, and don't forget, I know we had a lot of rain yesterday and the days before. But it's still, the same thing as say, I'm going to say it still applies. Stay safe. Stay warm. And stay dry. And we'll talk to you soon. Okay? And pray for me to your God or goddess that, you know, that I'll be back in full swing in a couple days. Yep, always helps. Always helps. 
Okay, until then, bye bye everybody. Bye bye guys. Hey, did you know there's a lot more going on right now at our websites? Are you watching all four of them? If not, check them out. There's a list right here. We got three YouTube channels and one audio-only channel for your enjoyment. So come on and dig in and see all the stuff we do here at the North American Snow Queen Palace.